Emmett Miller. We're about to take a journey into the mysterious world of the martial arts. Beyond Jackie Chan, past Bruce Lee, into forbidden territory and a secret technique, we went out to track down a legend that might not even exist. And what we found was entirely unexpected. They call it the death touch. Our search began here, a tranquil oasis, hidden amidst the landscape of downtown Los Angeles. We came here to see the master, nice to meet you. but our real search was for a killer. This is the dojo of Aikido master, the Reverend Kensho Furuya. He studied and taught the martial art for 40 years. We were hoping that he would lead us to the secret of Dim Mok. Translated literally, Dim Mok means poison hand, an ancient legendary method of killing a human being with only a touch. For centuries, Dim Mok has been a closely guarded secret, held tightly by a handful of masters. But now, the secret of Dim Mok has been released in America, and we'd heard one man was using it as a method to heal. Dim Mok, reality, legend, what would you say? In our own daily, ordinary life, we have to look at everything in a very ordinary, normal way. And there's a lot of fantastic things that stir up our imagination. And it's always very exciting, very intriguing. But uh, in martial arts, uh, the main thing is to keep your feet on the ground. We have to deal with reality, and we have to deal with self-preservation. So we can't really rely on very mysterious things. So maybe it's in our own uh, very Western way of doing things to take something which is Chinese legend, teach it as fact now, and then have people pay us to learn it. That's the American way, isn't it? <laughs> In the past 20 years, as Kung Fu, Karate, and Taekwondo became intertwined with American popular culture, the legend of Dim Mok grew with them. To many, it was a rumor, as unreal as Spock's Vulcan grip. But according to those who know, it was brought to America by this man. Pohan Sokin was a photographer who learned the art in Okinawa. Before he died, he handed down his dangerous wisdom to only three others, his students. The difference was that these hand-picked seekers of wisdom did not hold the secrets of Dim Mok so dear. They taught it to students of their own. Soon, others were supposedly teaching Dim Mok as well. It's gotten to the point where instruction manuals are being sold in mercenary magazines like Soldier of Fortune. Our search led us away from the fighting arts to the healing arts. Dr. David Chen is a master of acupuncture. He explained Dim Mok in very simple terms. Acupuncture, he said, heals with a touch or with manipulation of the body's energy flow. In the same way, he says, does Dim Mok do its damage by disrupting the flow so violently. And all it would take is a single touch in the right place, the right way. It's said in Chinese legend that it takes three lifetimes to learn Dim Mok. Is it that difficult? It is that difficult. You are right. Why? Dim Mok, number one, you need any practitioner, they need to have the physical, the strong physical condition. Number two, they need to have strong energy flow to build it up. And number three, to be able to release the energy, to use it, to send it out, to heal, or to cause problem, it needs more practice. Therefore, no wonder the legends say it takes three lifetimes. Three lifetimes. In all of our travels, in all of our investigations, the secret of Dim Mok seemed no closer. And then, someone led us to the source. This place is not hidden away in the mountains of China. It exists in the heartland of America, in Chicago, Illinois. And this man is no ancient philosopher who's lived three lifetimes. He's an American named Tom. Tom Cameron studied traditional martial arts for only 15 years, but he became a master in the Korean disciplines of Taekwondo and Hapkido. What's more important is what he learned from this man. Again, not an Asian mystic, but an American. 
George Dillman was one of the three who studied under the master, Hohan Soken. One of the three who were entrusted with the secret of the death touch. My master, uh, George Dillman, is now able to do these techniques without even touching people. He can literally just project the energy and start dropping them. George Dillman taught Cameron the secret of Dim Mach, and Master Cameron was ready to show it to us. We're not going to show you how it's done, or even give you an idea. You can understand why. But you will see enough, and you will be surprised enough at how Tom Cameron uses this ancient art that apparently has been so abused by those who want to kill. He says he uses it only so he can teach his students how to bring others back to life. What it does is you're striking or slapping the occipital nerve. What that does is it sends a nerve response through the body to reawaken or reset, reboot, if you want to use a computer term, the nervous system. Antidote at the ready, he demonstrated it for our camera. And if seeing is believing, the dim mock lives. Tom Howard's a paramedic whose seven-year-old daughter is learning Taekwondo in Mr. Cameron's class. From what I could see, obviously he didn't look good, and then as I checked his pulse, the credit pulse up here, which should be the strongest in the body, was, was not there. There was a couple beats, but they were very faint. And as you could see, he quickly turned pale and his lips were turning blue. Uh, as Tom brought him back around, after about a minute or so, he then had a, a pretty regular pulse of at least about 60. Yes, we have gained some wisdom in our search. Tom Cameron has added a new mystery to the ancient art of Dim Mach. Killing is not the point at all. If somebody attacks one of my students or attacks me, we can knock them out, we can render them unconscious, and there's no serious harm done to them. They'll wake up in a couple hours, they may have a bad headache, or they may be real sore, but no serious physiological damage has been done to them. So, in a way, it's actually a gentler form of the art. And we'll be investigating more martial arts secrets next week, The Power of the Chi.